Mangalore, good morning. How are you all? How are you all? Dehradun, good morning. Punit Naido, good morning. See, uh, uh, before I start the discussion, I will give you a brief uh, uh, information about the exam of SR ship and uh, a few pending things, which I guess I, I need to clear now. Uh, first of all, uh, these three papers of SR ship of ortho, prosto and oral surgery, they were comparatively very tough even for the uh, uh, faculties who were given the exam. Uh, I am glad to inform you that uh, one prostho faculty and one uh, oral surgery faculty have been uh, able to clear even the uh, even uh, clear the exam. So I guess uh, 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 you will be assured about the authentic authenticity of uh, what you are going to finish today. First thing. Second thing, uh, uh, we have confirmed news that. Uh, few people are trying to copy. Uh, the discussions, it has been done before also. Uh, we have made some arrangements that it, it won't get copied, but uh, let's see how it happens. Nagpur, good morning. <coughs> we are not uh, going to dictate you the uh, question and straightforward the answers. Uh, there were uh, uh, few questions, not few, in fact many questions where a single topic was baked into four or five things and uh, multiple questions were asked. So we are clearing the topic so that you can understand and you can mark accordingly the exact question and the exact answer. Suppose if not x, if they I, uh, ask y, you will be able to answer even that y also. All right. Uh, there were uh, 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 two or three uh, errors in the previous discussions, uh, I will clear it now. Uh, one was, ye bhi chahiye ko. PowerPoint abhi nahi chahiye, PowerPoint rukke chahiye, abhi mein kasi tech note chahiye. क्या है हाँ पीपीटी कहाँ से शेयर करनी है अच्छा अगर मैं शेयर करूँ अच्छा अनशेयर किया फिर शेयर एप्लीकेशन पावरपॉइंट कहाँ है इसमें एक एक मिनट को एक मैं बगैर फिर है ठीक है और अब शेयर अनशेयर शेयर एप्लीकेशन टेक नोट कहाँ पे आएगा थैंक यू थैंक्स लॉर्ड थैंक यू वन क्वेश्चन वाज लीस्ट लीस्ट सेंसिटिविटी द ऑप्शंस वर EPT test cavity. We have told this answer which was wrong. This is the correct answer. Least sensitivity, the answer was elective pulp test. Agra, good morning. Please correct it. Least sensitivity was the answer was EPT electric pulp tester and not test cavity, first correction.
Agra, I am just uh, 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 just telling you one or two corrections which I have got uh, right now. Uh, uh, one uh, of the previous discussions, one was the least sensitivity. We have told the answer as uh, test cavity. That was wrong. The correct answer is electric pulp tester. All right. And the second question was during the placement of uh, SS crown or a band. Uh, there is gingival uh, inflammation and pain. We have told the answer is uh, because irritation of crown margins, but the correct answer was plaque retention. The correct answer was plaque retention. Plaque retention was the correct answer. All right. These two uh, uh, corrections, please make. Uh, there were few more uh, uh, doubts. And corrections, uh, Dr. Ankit will take a session after me and he will cover uh, those points along with uh, 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 a topic of uh, dental material which has been asked and uh, has been requested by a few students to uh, clear it once again. All right. Oxygen, yeah. Third was uh, regarding Hox gene. The correct answer is sin poly ductile or poly sin. Dactyly. This was the correct answer. I do not know about specific clock hypothesis. No one has asked me before this specific clock hypothesis. Hox gene, least sensitivity, and SS crown. Please do the corrections. Please do the corrections. Actually, match platelets have been asked, answered yesterday in the club by Diksha Sikri. Please follow it. For this SRC paper discussion, uh, I tell you now. Uh, good evening, very good evening to all to all the students. Uh, one thing I will say that now the trend is changing. The yes, prosto questions are coming less, but the things that are being changing is that now they are moving more towards temporomandibular joint. Mandibular movements, mainly. अब normally हम जो हम पढ़ते हैं, वो basically TMJ के बारे में बहुत कम पढ़ते हैं, ठीक है? हम हमने पढ़ लिया, for example, normal anatomy पढ़ ली, लेकिन prosthetics के हिसाब से और temporomandibular disorders के हिसाब से हम TMJ नहीं पढ़ते हैं. So I am starting with with the topic which is very new to you. जो बहुत नया है आप आप लोगों के लिए और और इस एसआरशिप जो एम्स का एसआरशिप का जो एग्जाम हुआ था उसमें एटलीस्ट 20 से 25 क्वेश्चंस वर फ्रॉम फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक सो आई आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली बिकॉज़ एवरी सिंगल लाइन व्हाट आई एम सेइंग कंटेन्स एन एमसीक्यू राइट सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द टीएमजे एनाटॉमी फर्स्ट देखो जो हमारा टेम्पोरो मैंडिबुलर जॉइंट है हम it has been said that it has been said it is a compound joint please note that it is a compound joint 
क्यों कंपाउंड जॉइंट है क्योंकि ये इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनली टू बोन्स एक तो हमारा हो गया टेम्पोरल मैंडुलर फोर्स ऑफ द ऑफ द टेम्पोरल बोन द कोंडाइल एंड द थर्ड बोन दैट इज द थर्ड बोन जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द मैंडुलर फोसा ये हमारा हो गया कोंडाइल और बीच में हमारी होती है आर्टिकुलर डिस्क अकॉर्डिंग टू सम ऑथर्स ओके 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 आई आई स्पीक इन इंग्लिश अकॉर्डिंग टू सम ऑथर्स दिस आर्टिकुलर डिस्क हैज बीन कंसिडर्ड एज द थर्ड बोन इट इज नॉर्मली नॉट अ बोन इट इज इट इज इट इज नॉर्मली मेड अप ऑफ ऑफ यू नो फाइब्रस कार्टिलेजनस फाइब्रो कार्टिलेज टिश्यू दैट इज द आर्टिकुलर डिस्क बट आई एम रिपीटिंग इट वेरी कॉन्स्टेंटली TMJ is being known as compound joint. It is made up of two bones. That is the mandibular fossa, temporal bone part, the condyle. That is the part of the mandible, and the articular disc is being considered as a non-ossified bone. Please note this non-ossified bone. So this is considered as the third bone. Articular disc is being considered as the third bone. Now, as you know that it is this is the disc, right? So the, this will become the superior joint cavity, and it will become the inferior joint cavity. The disc mediolaterally divides the joint space into superior joint cavity and inferior joint cavity. Now. This is also this joint is also known as ginglimoarthroidal joint. Ginglimoid, ginglimoid, arthroidal joint. Why ginglimoid? Ginglimoid because it has an hinging movement in one plane. It shows hinging movement in one plane. and why arthroidal because it shows gliding movement it also shows gliding movement to baat samajh mein aayi hai ginglimoid kyu bolte hain because it shows hinging movement right and it is also known as arthroidal joint because it shows gliding movement so the term ginglimo arthroidal very very important because questions has been asked this time by is it all these terms have been broken and have been asked mind you okay right so now one more question that comes is that the the uh, uh, the superior joint cavity and the and the inferior joint cavity right in the superior joint cavity now in the superior i am talking about this in the superior joint cavity now because now there is an articular disc as i have told right the articular disc to the temporal bone is not attached tightly it is loose it is loose right yahan pe here the articular disc is not attached tightly to the temporal bone but in the lower joint cavity this articular disc is being tightly attached with the help of ligaments what we do we tell them as discal ligaments discal ligaments so if the question comes what is the movement that is present in the superior joint cavity because it is not tightly attached to the temporal bone it is the translation movement in the superior joint cavity please note it down sliding and translation is one and the same thing sliding and translation occurs in superior joint cavity inferior joint cavity mein there is rotation mind you rotation got it do not do not confuse between these terms okay now i am i am going ahead now we know that the as we know that ab होगा क्या यू यू ऑल्सो नो दैट देर इज अनोवियल फ्लूड द कैप्सूल ज्वाइंट द कैप्सूल लिगमेंट और द प्राइमरी कैप्सूल ऑफ दिस ज्वाइंट कंटेन्स अ कंटेन्स साइनोवियल फ्लूड राइट नाउ देर आर टू टर्म्स टू अंडरस्टैंड वन इज वन इज 
बाउंड्री मैकेनिज्म देर आर देर आर टू प्रोसेस ऑफ लुब्रिकेशन देर आर टू प्रोसेस ऑफ लुब्रिकेशन ऑफ ज्वाइंट वन इज द बाउंड्री मैकेनिज्म एंड सेकेंड इज द वीपिंग मैकेनिज्म वीपिंग मैकेनिज्म दीज टर्म्स विल बी एब्सोल्यूटली न्यू टू यू पीपल प्लीज बिकॉज आई एम टेकिंग द टॉपिक्स विच आर विच आर वेरी क्लोज टू द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्ट ऑल्सो तो ये चीजें याद रखना प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस ना वॉट इज दिस बाउंड्री मैकेनिज्म ये जो बाउंड्री मैकेनिज्म होता है ये ये हमारा प्राइमरी मैकेनिज्म होता है ज्वाइंट के लुब्रिकेशन का इट इज द प्राइमरी मैकेनिज्म बाई विच द ज्वाइंट इज लुब्रिकेटेड द सैनिवल फ्लूड नाउ हाउ दिस अकर्स इज वेन देर इज मूवमेंट ऑफ द टीएमजे वेन देर इज मूवमेंट ऑफ द टीएमजे द फ्रॉम वन कंपार्टमेंट टू अदर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मूवमेंट दिस फ्लूड द सैनोविल फ्लूड इज बींग फ्लस्ट फ्रॉम वन कंपार्टमेंट टू द अदर कंपार्टमेंट सो दैट इज नोन एज बाउंड्री मैकेनिज्म राइट सेकेंड मैकेनिज्म दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर यू नो स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ लुब्रिकेशन इज द वीपिंग मैकेनिज्म वीपिंग मैकेनिज्म नाउ हाउ नाउ वेन वेन देर इज अ देर इज अ टाइट कॉन्टैक्ट विन द द कॉन्डाइल डिस कॉम्प्लेक्स विद द टेम्पोरल बोन राइट देर इज देर इज लीकेज ऑफ दिस एनुवल फ्लूड फ्रॉम द आर्टिकुलर सर्फेसिस राइट बहुत वेरी लेस सैनुवल फ्लूड इज बींग देर आर वेरी दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी फेमस इन एम्स नाउ अड एज एंड देर देर आर मल्टीपल क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दॉपिक कंसर्न सो so first what is the zmc fracture there are multiple questions attached to this topic number 1 the most common zygomatic co maxillary complex fracture basically means the zmc zygoma is a bone which is a very hard bone and which rarely gets fractured so whenever there is fracture it is usually fractured at its articulations means zygoma is articulating with its adjacent bones at various sutures it articulates with frontal bone at this is zygoma it articulate with frontal bone at fronto zygomatic suture it articulates with maxillary bone by zygomatico maxillary suture and internally there is a prominent area which is known as zygomatico maxillary buttress zygomatico maxillary buttress and posteriorly it articulates with the temporal bone to form zygomatic arch and this suture is zygomatico temporal suture so uh, basically zygoma itself is not going to fracture easily it is usually fractured near its articulation and its articulation with various adjacent bones are fronto zygomatic suture means zygoma articulate with frontal bone zygomatico maxillary suture zygoma is articulating with the maxillary bone there is a prominent area in the oral cavity which is the zygomatico maxillary buttress area and with the temporal bone it articulates at zygomatico temporal suture to make zygomatic arch now there are few controversial questions and there is should be no controversy so first question is that if there is zygomatic arch fracture it fractures at i am drawing redrawing the diagram of zygomatic arch this is zygomatic arch and this is the zygomatico temporal suture this is zygomatico temporal suture and this arch is formed by one third is formed by zygomatic portion and two third is formed by temporal bone so whenever there is fracture of zygoma zygomatico maxillary complex or zygomatic arch the fracture usually occurs in the middle the fracture occur usually in the middle so in exams what is the site it is posterior to zygomatico temporal suture it is not anterior it is posterior to 
zygomatico temporal suture so there should be no controversy now this is always posterior to the zygomatico temporal suture second controversial question regarding zygomatic arch reduction zygomatic arch reduction the zygomatic arch whenever there is fracture of zygomatico maxillary complex or fracture of isolated zygomatic arch we have to lift the arch we have to reduce the fracture segment back into the previous position so for that we require some elevators to elevate these bones so while elevation of these bones while elevation of these bones one thing is that we open the fracture sites and see the things clearly this is the one thing and the second is sometimes we don't open the fracture segments directly and assess the symmetry by palpations etc so whenever a fracture segment is elevated there may or may not be any sound production the sound is only produced whenever there is rubbing of two fractured segments and sometimes this sound may not be present so whenever there is a fracture of zygomatic arch click sound or arch mystery which is the best the answer is arch symmetry arch symmetry is the best example best point for assessment of zygomatic arch reduction now there is again one more important question regarding zmc fracture reduction which is best suture which is best buttress and what, what is all so from above diagram we can say that the zygoma is articulating with various bones at various sutures and in these sutures i am using the word suture please note there are two different words suture and buttress suture means where the two bones are articulating the two bones are articulating at sutures and the buttress basically implies that there is strengthened or strong bone is present at that particular site and usually the buttresses are responsible to carry the functional load and whenever there is fracture we basically want to place our bony plate or internal fixation device at strong bony buttresses so now there is a controversial question regarding zmc that which of the following is the best checkpoint for zmc fracture reduction zmc fracture reduction so the simple answer is that whenever we are in gillis temporal approach we are giving incision in the temporal bone area we are placing our instrument through this incision into the under surface of zygoma and then elevating the zygoma we have not exposed any of the articulation of zygomatico maxillary complex so basically we are blind basically we don't know whether the zmc is properly reduced or not reduced at all so to check the accuracy of reduction the ideal thing is that we should expose all the sutures of the zmc we should give a titanium it is available in two forms right first is commercially pure titanium and the second one is alloys alloys of titanium right so the commercially pure titanium commercially pure titanium it is graded into four grades grade 1 to grade Four, and this grading notepad not notepad is not visible to them. Can you please check it? Is it visible now? is it visible now is the tech note visible now okay so i was telling you that uh, 
titanium is available in two forms right first is commercially pure titanium and the second one is alloys of titanium the commercially i am not discussing the questions right i was sent some points regarding titanium related to the sr ship questions so i am discussing these points with you so the commercially pure titanium it is divided into four grades right based on the impurities percentage of impurities found in them percentage of impurities found in them based on the percentage of impurities found in the commercially pure titanium it is classified into grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 right grade 1 has 0.5% impurities ranging on to 1.0% impurities in grade 4 so out of these four grades only grade is used in medical conditions right only grade 2 has medical uses that too in low stress areas right so probably aligarh we have discussed this question countless number of times on club it is flexure it is strain you have strained it at room temperature it is flexure you have flexed the wire it is flexing okay so grade 2 is used it is the only the grade 2 which has medical use apart from these we have a grade 5 grade 5 grade 5 is titanium alloy and it contains ti 6 al 4v right ti 6 al 4v this is the grade 5 so if anyone asks you which grade titanium has medical use and you are given the options grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 grade 5 now remember the options that i am giving you right grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 and grade 5 then you have to go with grade 5 grade 5 it has medical and dental uses it is the most commonly used alloy of the titanium it is the most commonly used alloy of the titanium right it is being used in implants now let's say the question comes CPTI is right, and they tell you it is mono p monophasic, biphasic, triphasic, or tetraphasic. Right. Let's say the question is commercially pure titanium is, and the options are uh, monophasic, biphasic, triphasic, and tetraphasic. So you have to remember that commercially pure titanium has impurities carbon. nitrogen oxygen and iron these are the common impurities found in commercially pure titanium right and the commercially pure titanium exists in alpha phase commercially pure titanium exists in alpha phase so commercially pure titanium is monophasic but if instead of this the question had been titanium alloy grade 5 is and again the options would have been same monophasic biphasic triphasic and tetraphasic so this grade 5 alloy this ti6 al4v it has aluminum and it has vanadium right aluminum is alpha stabilizer and vanadium is beta stabilizer so grade 5 alloy has two phases it has two phases and they are alpha and beta phases so if the question comes grade 5 titanium alloy has and the options are monophase biphase triphase tetraphase then you will go with biphasic grade 5 titanium alloy is biphasic and this is the most commonly used form of titanium ti 
six A L four V. Right. Now, the next question may be asked on the passivity of titanium. As you all know, titanium is passive. It is very biocompatible and it does not corrode easily. Right? It is highly biocompatible and it will not corrode easily. Why will it not corrode easily? Because it is highly reactive with oxygen. It is highly reactive with oxygen. Titanium is highly reactive with oxygen. So what it will do? It will form a surface layer of titanium oxide right and this titanium oxide will achieve a thickness of 10 nanometers within 1 millisecond this again is a question the thickness of titanium oxide formed on the surface of titanium within 1 millisecond is and the options would be 1 nanometer 10 nanometer 100 nanometer 1000 nanometers right so your answer would be 10 nanometers in 1 millisecond right and this is the reason why titanium is highly passive and it goes for commercially pure titanium it goes for the alloys of the titanium right 